The boys of BTS just joined the list of legends who have participated in James Corden's viral carpool karaoke series and it's honestly the best thing you'll see all day. What is up you guys, it's Susan Morad here with Clever News and BTS just hopped in the car with James Corden aka Papa Mochi for a little carpool karaoke and this might be the very best carpool karaoke to ever grace our presence. That wasn't all they got up to on their late night show rounds. They also shut down Grand Central Station for a top secret music video shoot on The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon. Don't worry, we'll get to all of that right here. But first, let's talk about carpool karaoke because you guys, it was iconic. Each of the BTS boys' personalities really came through in this carpool segment and James had great banter with them. The whole thing was seriously glorious. Given nicknames by your fans. Right. Yeah, I'm WWH, Worldwide Handsome, you know? That's so weird, because that was my nickname at school. You're a joker guy! The ride had everything, from BTS teasing James in Korean, to the boys singing their own hits along with covers, to even singing the Friends theme song. Oh, and they also crashed a dance class, which was epic. Seriously, what more could we want from a 16-minute video? Well, more, obviously, but now we're just getting very greedy. All right, so let's break down this carpool karaoke for you because it deserves some serious appreciation. James started things off by playing BTS's song, Mic Drop, and everyone hopped in and started singing and dancing along immediately. But before jumping right into the next song, James wanted to clear the air about the language barrier, which honestly we think The Late Show handled really, really well in this episode. RM and James spoke English, but when the rest of the boys were speaking Korean, the show included subtitles so all non-Korean speakers watching could appreciate the BTS boys' hilarious sense of humor. James said, quote, This shouldn't shock you, but my Korean is not great. And RM revealed that he learned English by watching the TV show Friends, which is extremely impressive even to the other boys of BTS, because some of them have also watched Friends, but didn't necessarily learn English fluently from it. Which led into one of my favorite moments from this ride. So Jin and Sugar's great aside in the back seat, talking about how they didn't quite understand James, but they were still able to showcase their very funny sense of humor. <laughs> 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 We've just been watching that moment over and over again. I mean, let's watch it one more time. <laughs> Alright, moving on to their next song. They sang Bruno Mars's Finesse featuring Cardi B. They all nailed Cardi B's rap and harmonized beautifully for the chorus. But Jungkook stole the show by showing off his pipes, giving even Bruno Mars a run for his money. And both Bruno and Cardi showed the BTS boys some love on social media after they covered their song. Cardi first tweeted a clip from the performance with a love heart emoji and then followed up with another tweet saying, quote, Me homeless cause Hobie and Jun took my job. And Bruno simply said, quote, Thanks fellas with the cheers emoji. And this whole thing got me thinking, what's your dream song for the BTS boys to cover? Because they absolutely slayed this song. Get the conversation going right here in the comment section below. And keep watching because you don't want to miss out on their top secret music video. BTS also slayed their single On, which is featured on their brand new album, Map of the Soul 7. And again, Jungkook showed off his extremely impressive pipes by killing the high notes. The boys went on to talk about what it's been like living together for all these years, the biggest celebs they've met, and like I said before, they also crashed a dance class. The carpool karaoke isn't all the BTS guys have been up to lately. As promised, we've got to talk about their top secret music video they filmed in Grand Central Station in New York City. BTS stopped by The Tonight Show Monday night to promote their new album, but in addition to just being interviewed by Jimmy Fallon, they performed their new song, On. And it wasn't your average performance, you guys. They literally shut down Grand Central Station. And while the performance was only six minutes long, it took about two months to set up this epic surprise. 
And if you've ever been to New York City, you know how busy Grand Central is. According to the New York Times, usually there are around 750,000 people in and out of the station in one day. So it was crazy to see it completely empty, aside from BTS and the performers, of course. Evan, give it up for BTS! To pull off the surprise, they filmed the video around 2 a.m. on a Saturday night earlier this month, and the BTS boys had to sneak in in order to keep it secretive. They had two hours to nail the perfect video of On before the terminal's cleaning staff had to get ready for the next day. The doors would reopen to the public again at 5.15 a.m. Obviously, BTS being as talented and professional as they are, pull it off perfectly. If you haven't watched the whole video yet, I highly suggest it. Honestly, it is incredible. A producer for The Tonight Show took to Twitter to share how special this experience was, not only for BTS, but for everyone involved. He wrote, quote, Hey, a very different Fallon Tonight airs this evening. The Tonight Show Subway Special was shot in and around and under New York City. It's our love letter to this city. The one and only BTS are our guests. They were game for everything and performed in Grand Central. It's a fun one. And you know what? We could not agree more. It is so fun to see the BTS guys literally taking over the world as their new album continues to break records. And honestly, these two late night clips are just the gifts that keep on giving. We've replayed them so many times here in the office and we just can't get enough. But right now, you guys, I want to hear from you. What was your favorite part of BTS's carpool karaoke? And can you believe they literally shut down Grand Central Station for their secret performance? It was amazing. Let us know everything in the comment section below. Also, while we're talking about BTS, click right over here to see a little throwback clever moment when we actually interviewed the BTS guys years ago. It's an amazing one, so make sure you check it out. And as always, be sure to hit that subscribe button to keep coming back for more Clever News updates. Oh, and we also have some exciting news for you guys because Clever Music is coming back in March 2020, so stay tuned for that. I'm your host, Susan Morad. Thanks for hanging with me. I'll catch you later. Bye, guys.